Hello, my name is Marina Nunez, and I am the CEO and founder of Canani. If you want to know more about what is Canani Marketing, click on the description box. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any valuable content. And remember, this video is based on my thoughts and opinions. As a brand, you know you, you have a responsibility to be good global citizens, to care for your audience, the world. Also, brands know that being inclusive is also good for business and as well as it is the right thing to do. Unfortunately, brands still fail at creating an inclusive and diverse brand. And it is not just necessarily because they don't want to do the right thing. I'm sure that they do. But it takes a lot of work, behavioral change, and pattern change, as well as sometimes making difficult decisions that are needed in order to move towards being a diverse and inclusive business. And it isn't easy. Now, if you want to become an inclusive business, you need to see this video. So let's begin. Here are seven tips on how to become an inclusive brand. Tip number one, take a look at your customers. Studying your customers and even your leads. Ask inquiries to learn more about them and accept the feedback you could better represent and speak to them through your marketing. Tip number two, celebrate more than the major holidays. Highlight your brand's inclusive mindset by celebrating holidays focused on marginalized people, the LGBT community, and other diverse groups similarly. Number three, be thoughtful about visuals. Colors and fonts also can affect inclusion. Certain color schemes are hard to read for those with vision impairment or call them vision deficiency. And fonts like Helvetica, Courier, Arial, Verdana are more readable for those with dyslexia. Tip number four, use inclusive language. Using inclusive language means your message is free from jargon, references, other verbiage that discriminates against a group of people. Tip number five, avoid stereotypes and appropriation. Just like I had talked about in my prior video about cultural appropriation versus cultural appropriation, remember to never use exclusionary language. You also shouldn't employ stereotypes based on a specific group of people. And remember to have empathy and context top of the mind and when you are brainstorming for marketing initiatives. Tip number six, know the difference between diversity and inclusion. The words diversity and inclusion, while similar, don't have the same meaning. Tip number seven, bake inclusion into your overall marketing strategy. Once you've got diversity and inclusion down, the next step is ensuring the concepts stick. Now, I want to know in the comments, are you an inclusive brand? Do you consider yourself an inclusive and diverse business? Let me know what steps you're taking towards this. Let me know about any struggles or anything that you want me to expand. I would definitely would love to create a video that answers those questions. So yeah, just leave your comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time.